Okay, for this part, I'm going to show you how to organize things a little bit better using the layers. Um, so if I switch over to this, where it looks like two pieces of paper are on top of each other, or I just hover over it, it'll tell you it's your layers panel. And you can see I can create more layers using the plus sign. Uh, I actually change the names of the layers. Um, and then assign it a different color. So if we can do more of like a pinkish color there. Apply. Um, but we want to, I want to show you how you can sort of uh, attach the objects that you create to, to those layers. So I'm going to do a couple of spheres. And then if I right click and hold, I can repeat that process. Right click and hold. Okay. So let's move that over. And this is your gumball, if I haven't explained that before. So if you're wanting to move your objects, uh, you can use your gumball, which is up here, have that selected. And then you can use the arrows that are pointing in your different axes. So if I wanted to move it on the X axis, I can select this red one here, move it left and right. And I can move things left and right on the Y axis with the green, and then up and down with the blue arrow uh, for the Z axis. Um, and you also have this little square. So in your perspective view, you can sort of move it in 360, but I'm sort of still tied to a specific plane as I'm moving it here. Um, but it gets kind of confusing in your perspective view, so I would say be careful with that. Uh, depending on how you're looking, you can see as I move, it'll disappear. Um, but you can use that little box in your orthogonal views. So uh, you can see if I wanted to move it on the X and Y uh, from my top view, I can do that. Just moving it around there so I can snap it back to... Uh, to my x-axis and then you also can use the gumball to rotate things on the fly and you also have these sort of like smaller squares where you can uh, scale things um, and if you hold shift hold shift and scale them down they'll sort of keep their uh, their same restraints and stuff like that but uh, let's go back to the perspective view. So now I have this sort of egg, egg shape with these spheres, but that's okay, because um, we're just gonna sort of organize, the, organize these with the different layers, so. And it's really easy. So if I click on this ball up here, it'll bring up my uh, properties for my object. And on the second one, it'll say, which layer do you want it to assign to? Uh, or any specific colors um, attached to that layer, you can all sort of change that here. So uh, I'm going to switch it to my layer one. As you can see, it turns it red because you can see down here in my layers that the color is red. And same thing. Um, if I do this again, layer two should turn it to like a violet color. And then if I were to change this one to that layer that I created, which would be layer six it'll change it to that pinkish color that I sort of had set. So that's just a, an easy way to sort of use the the, pan, or the layers panel to keep things a little bit organized for you.